Howdy folks and welcome to this replay of World of Warships which I am playing in the Nassau class battleship. <clears throat> so we are basically playing this in a battle where we're actually going to be engaging other ships. I'm just pulling up the list here briefly for you. Let me just zoom out. So that's the, the Nassau battleship. <clears throat> now this replay is based upon my second th uh, battle with this particular ship. So it's got very, very big guns on the uh, the turrets here. Well, of course, battleships naturally have that. <clears throat> but you'll also notice that there are smaller guns along the sides of the ship. Those are basically my secondary armaments. And if you look at the rear of the ship, you'll notice that there's four rear secondary guns. <clears throat> so any ship that's approaching me from the rear will immediately be engaged. And if I look at this from the side, there's a substantial number of those secondary guns on here as well. Unfortunately, at this point in time, this is the Alpha or the A version of the, the hull itself. There is not a single piece of anti-aircraft armament on there. Only on the B, B version of this ship will I get some of that on there. And that's only four pieces of anti-aircraft armament at that point. Now, I have just changed my course when I just departed here. And I'm actually heading towards the island located in F7. It's my intention to basically hug the wall of F7's island. And then basically use that as cover from any units that are to the northwest, or at least on the map northwest, to the uh, northeast of me, I, I would say probably. Or maybe I should say to my starboard side. <coughs> starboard being the right side of the ship. Anyways, <coughs> at the moment it's, it's a fairly even match. So we got two uh, aircraft carriers. We got, uh, I think it's about four battleships. They got four battleships. They haven't got a single national class. But do bear in mind, Nassau class is basically the level 3 or tier 3 battleship, which is really the lowest tier of battleships you come across in here. Uh, 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 there's about three cruisers then and about three destroyers as well. <coughs> number of their ships have been spotted. So if let's zoom in briefly. We can see some of those in the distance. <coughs> but again, I'm still basically moving towards that island. Do bear in mind, this is a relatively slow ship. Maximum speed about 18.8, 18.7 thereabouts. Not... Now, I've zoomed in here. I'm actually trying to aim my guns, as you can see. I'm actually noticing that there is a destroyer in front of me. It's just behind the island there. <coughs> so not really a threat for me immediately. But there are various other ships here, slightly further on the horizon. So if I just look at where I'm aiming my, my guns at the moment, <clears throat> I'm aiming for some of those enemy ships. I just re-pointed re my guns at a slightly di different point. And I'm actually going to be shooting at that ship there. So look at what it is. It's a St. Louis cruiser. St. Louis is one of the most heavily armored cruisers, at least at that particular tier. So it's got a whole raft of guns all over the side of the ship. Not many at the front, but very much at the side you will have a very, very large number of guns on the side of that ship. Can I zoom in further? Well, you should be able to see all of those guns firing at one of my allies there at the moment. <coughs> see some torpedoes going through the water, which were probably just fired off by that uh, destroyer. And I'm going to be firing some of my guns in just a second. You hear that big boom, boom, boom. Massive guns firing up the... Uh, St. Louis, I just missed them twice, so double guns, and this should be a hit, is it a hit? Nope, again, just barely missed, so one was basically in front of it, and one overshot him. <coughs> so at the moment I'm only able to engage with three of my turrets, I would have to turn my ship to some extent to be able to engage with additional turrets, but yes, I have one hit, about 1056 damage. Further damage, and I basically took out one of their gun turrets. <clears throat> I'm just trying to take out that ship as quickly as possible. They've lost one ship, we've lost one ship, both cruiser, oh, sorry, destroyers thus far. And I just barely missed them. They're changing course slightly, turning towards me, so I do need to take that into account when I'm aiming my guns at them. I shouldn't be aiming too oops, I shouldn't be aiming too far away from him. And I am turning my own ship at this point. 
cool. So no, no longer using my port side guns, but my starboard side guns. But I'm changing my firing from the cruiser for this destroyer briefly. <clears throat> Bigger threat to me at the moment, closer to me, and he could potentially fire torpedoes at me. And I have luckily been able to hit him. And I just missed. And I'm firing my guns again in a minute. Or a second. It's a Clemson class destroyer, which is an American destroyer. Hit him. Hit him again. And will I be able to take him out there? <coughs> I hope so. Ah, the uh, St. Louis was just in between. Lucky destroyer. He's turning slightly. So again, I need to take it into account when I'm firing my guns. And there we go. Just firing again. I missed just barely. Firing again. And I take him out. He's destroyed. Good. So I now need to, of course, take into account the, the, the extra torpedoes he's fired. Luckily, he fired them off before he took into account my course change. So it's not really affecting me. Focusing in on that uh, St. Louis once again. We saw those guns all being fired all at once there. And he hit me pretty badly. Oh, pretty badly. For, for what a, a cruiser can do. Firing at him again, <clears throat> setting him up on fire. You see the fire on the on the rear deck there. And again, I'm aiming my guns and firing at him. <clears throat> hit him again. And hit him again. Not too much damage this time, unfortunately. Enemy cruiser detected. He's still got about 4,400. 4200 health because he's still on fire. Oops, we have just noticed some torpedoes. Actually, there are our allies torpedoes. I'm leaving the St. Louis alone for a minute because I've just found there to be a battleship behind me. <clears throat> so I'm focusing in on that for just a second. I had engaged my repair crew to basically repair some of my ship already. Focusing on that uh, Miyogi class battleship. Together with one of my allies here, which is at the moment a Clemson class destroyer. Is he gonna fire some torpedoes into them or will I be destroying them? I think actually the Clemson took him out. Well, yeah, the Clemson took him out. Now, where is that St. Louis at this point? It's still over on the horizon. <coughs> Firing a few more shots at him. Will I be the one to destroy him? Yes! So thus far I've taken out one destroyer and one cruiser. <clears throat> so what's happening in the meantime? Let's look at the bigger picture for a second. So we are in the lead. So we've taken out more of their ships than they have taken out of ours. We've still got one destroyer left. They've got none. we still got three battleships. They've got two. Plus, of course, you always still have those uh, aircraft carriers. I just got hit by their battleships there. They're firing at me. I'm actually turning my... At least I'm trying to keep my uh, my bow aimed at them, which actually minimizes the target that I'm forming. Now, I got set on fire on here. I'm hoping my repair crew or my fire crew will actually take them out quickly. It seems to take a little while, <clears throat> unfortunately. So we'll actually put them out with the RP in a second. <clears throat> Again, I'm aiming in front of the ship because he's still moving. And I'm just barely too far in front of it, looks like. But I did also miss him with all the shots. Even though some had been at the right point, they still overshot slightly. Just changing my focus onto a different battleship here. <clears throat> Just barely missed them. We have just spotted some of their aircraft carriers as well. <coughs> and I'm hitting him there for a couple of thousand damage. Okay, that ship was taken out. They set up fire once again. <coughs> Unfortunately, my crew is still busy putting the previous fire out here as well. 
So it looks like that ship was hiding in the clouds, probably set by our own destroyer there. <coughs> and they were dodged. Our victory is inside. And they were taken out by another one of our battleships. That leaves them only at this point with two sets of carriers. <coughs> I see some ships, uh, some uh, planes still flying around. There's nothing I can do about those planes. Like I said, I don't have any anti-aircraft armament on board. <coughs> so torpedo planes, it looks like. We got some fighters in the air. Or at least we, the enemy's got some of those in the air. And they just barely missed that destroyer there. At least the torpedoes do from those torpedo bombers. There's nothing a fighter can do against them, <coughs> except for keep an eye on where our ships are. I'm just trying to shoot some of my shots at that ship there. Now, in itself, a aircraft carrier itself is not too big a threat. It's really the planes on the threat. Now, there are some older sh uh, ones that have some bigger guns on there, but they're, they're really like or destroyer type guns. Uh, really the main way of take, at least disabling that ship is basically setting it on fire. So that ship is on fire at the moment as you can see, which means no more planes can take off or land on it. Which means that once the planes that are in the air have used up with their ammunition, they cannot go down for getting replenished. I'm still shooting at that ship there. I'm trying to capture him or at least take him out before he actually goes behind the rocks there. Got destroyed by those torpedoes. Sweet. Nice work by that Clemson. Looking at the Clemson, he's destroyed three ships. I'm firing my last shots at this one and I'll take him out in a second. There we go. Five shots and he's out. Thanks.